Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. I am back with another video with some real time questions covering both Power BI and SQL which I think you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. So please subscribe the channel for more videos like this. I have also provided the link of the first parts in the description box so you can go and check out that video also. So let's start the video without wasting any time. One thing I would like to add that I am not covering the answers of these questions as answers of most of these questions I have already covered in my two playlists one for Power BI and the other for SQL. So if you are looking for the answers you can go through both the playlist. I will provide the links in the description box. And still if you have any query you can comment down. I will immediately answer it. So these are the questions that you can expect from the power query section. So the first question is how can you make a table or a query work as a function. So through this question they just want to understand how much good you are in understanding the M queries. The corresponding M queries for any query or a table. Okay. Next question is what will happen if you append two tables or queries with unequal number of columns. Okay, so if you are appending two queries and they have different number of columns, what will be the resulting query? What will be the values in the columns which are not common in both the queries or tables? Okay, third question is what are the steps of implementing incremental refresh? Okay, and the last one is what is query folding and how can you see that the query folding is happening? Okay, for any transformations. So these questions you can expect from power query section. Let, let's move ahead with the next section model view section okay so first question from here you can expect is tell me the different types of relationship that we have in the model view second one is why should we not prefer bi-directional filtering in our model and how can we mitigate it okay and the last one is what is the difference between star and snowflake schema and which one should be preferred so this question is related to data warehousing concepts so so you should have a decent knowledge in data warehousing also okay let's move ahead with the next section this is the report view section so from here, what can you expect? So, so the first question is, can you give any use case of bookmarks? Second one is, can, can you give any instance where decomposition tree visual is useful? Okay. Third question is, can you use one data set to create different reports? If yes, how? This is basically focused on whether you know how to optimize your model for different reports. Okay. This is a scenario based question. Let's move ahead with the next question. What are the different limitations of using a direct query report? So these questions you can expect from report view section. Okay, let's move ahead with the next section. This is the DAX part. First question is, can you give an instance where tree as function is useful? Second one, differentiate between cross filter and filter functions. Third one, can you write the DAX code to calculate the last end day sales from the current date? So this can be, you can be asked to write the DAX code in the chat or the notepad. And the last one is, how will you calculate the cumulative sales over the years for any company? This is also a DAX code you may be asked to write. So these are the scenario based questions you can expect from the DAX part. Okay. Let's move ahead with the next section. Service Power BI service section. First question is what are the different types of data gateways? Second one is what are the different types of ways of sharing a report to an end users? So, so you have to mention the different number of ways of sharing once you publish the report to the service. The last question is what is row level security that is RLS and can you differentiate between user principal name and user name tax functions. Okay, let's move ahead with the next section. This is the SQL interview questions. What questions you can what are the real time questions that you can expect from here. First question is what is a what is a composite key. You should have a thorough knowledge of different SQL concepts related to keys. Now the second question is when do we use having clause and where do we use it after or before of group by. Third question, what is the difference between clustered and a non-clustered index? And the last one is, can you tell how do we use foreign key as constraint? So you can be asked to write how a foreign key can be used as a constraint in any query or table. So let's move ahead with the next couple of questions. So these are related to SQL codes. So first question is, can you write a SQL code to get the first part of from the name column resulting as first name column? So basically you have to take the first part of the name and create a new column as first name. How will you do that through a SQL code? So that is being asked here. Second question is write a SQL query to calculate the second highest salary from the salary column. Okay. And the last one is tell me the difference between a CTE and a temporary table. CTE is basically the common table expressions. So you have to tell the difference between a CTE and a temporary table. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you got some idea about the questions asked and tested your preparation. I will continue to upload more videos on this so stay tuned and please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.